yes. You want to know how a leaf is adapted for trapping light energy and the plant as a whole? Keep listening and watching. Uh, the leaf has a blood lamina. This blood lamina increases the surface area for absorption of uh, light. Contains numerous chloroplasts, especially in the facet mesophyll layer. And these chloroplasts contain numerous chlorophyll molecules that increase the surface area for absorption of uh, light. The leaf itself is thin to reduce the distance through which light penetrates to reach the photosynthetic cells. Then the waxa cuticle that covers the upper epidermis, the adaxio, is transparent in order to allow penetration of light to the photosynthetic cells. The chloroplasts in the leaf, that is in the mesophyll cells, are mobile. Therefore, they are able to move around to positions with eye illumination. This increases the rate of photosynthesis. Uh, when we look at a plant as a whole, the plant has numerous leaves, which increases the surface area for absorption of light. We find that each leaf carries all that functional unit of absorbing light energy. Then the plant shoots are also positively phototropic. That is, they grow towards light. They, they grow towards light. Just imagine if one day plants woke up and they grew negatively phototropic. Imagine how the world will go into that tumor of not having food because they cannot synthesize food, organic food molecules. Uh, also, we can look at what we call the mosaic arrangement of leaves. Now, these leaves are arranged in such a way that the upper leaves do not shed the bottom leaves. You find that this leaf will grow facing this side, and this one will grow facing this side. Therefore, you find that each ray of light that encounters the plant can't go without being trapped. So one ray will come and be trapped by this leaf, another ray will come and be trapped by the downer leaf, like that, like that. That is because of the mosaic arrangement of the plant. Then another adaptation of the plant as a whole to carry out the function of absorbing light is relation. Now, aeration, whereby the internodes of the plant during aeration, they elongate and place the plants, basically those plants which grow in shady areas, into areas with maximum illumination. So that is achieved because of aeration. Uh, basically, those are the functions or the adaptations of a plant as a wall to absorb light. Then